Hey Eagles, to kickstart our painting unit, we are gonna be working with temper cakes. Now clearly these have been well loved throughout the year last year, but that's a great thing because they last and they last and we get a lot of use out of these. I also like that these are washable and they dry fairly quickly. So for this project, you need a temper cake set. I normally do two per table. Um, a water bowl filled on both sides. You need a little bit of water in a spray bottle a pencil, a paintbrush, and a black Sharpie marker. Now you need that permanent marker because we are gonna be adding water and we're gonna be painting on top of it. So if you have a washable marker, then what's gonna to happen to all that marker? Yes, it's gonna wash off. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write our name and our code on the back. And your code, if I write like 3P, that stands for third grade Pacer, right? And then I'm gonna flip it over because I don't want that to become part of my artwork, right? Okay, so while we're working, always keep in your mind, we're gonna go pencil, marker, paint. Pencil, marker, paint, all right? So I'm gonna do lines. We've done like line design was one of our first projects and we worked with those oil pastels. So I just want to do circles. Now, obviously that's not a whole circle because my circles are gonna go off the page. If you need something that is circular that you want to, like I have my cup, I can trace the bottom of my cup, or I'm sure you can find, like I could use this little water bottle thing and I can trace it, but it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Oops, that one's a little off, <laughs> fix it. So you just want some circles on here. Now, instead of circles, if you want to do squares, you can do squares. I would not do them super teeny, teeny, tiny because whenever we get to that step two, that marker, it is going to take you forever and ever to go over them. Okay, so I'm gonna do that quickly. Now, I'm gonna go over my pencil lines with this sharper, Sharpie. Remember, because we said pencil, marker, paint, pencil, marker, paint. These make really awesome presents. Cards, you can paint the front of it and then you can write a really nice message on the other side of it. And let this be the front of your card. Or if the holidays are coming up, like I said, they make great gifts. Even a birthday present. I know my girls like lit like giving their kid, their friends, their artwork for presents. Okay, I did that really quickly. So, now I have this. Now I'm gonna take this water bottle. While you're spraying your temper cakes, you don't wanna have them swimming in there, right? But you wanna get them wet. That's gonna activate them. Think about that. We're gonna activate that paint right there. And then I have a uh, paintbrush. So I'm gonna dip the paintbrush in the water now, for this, you can decide if you want to use warm or cool colors because we have discussed that. So, I am not, I'm a big fan of the cool colors. So, I'm going to start with blue. Blue is a cool color. And I'm just going to color or paint right on top of that. What is another cool color? Who can tell me another cool color? Green. That's right. And I know we've talked before. So colors can symbolize different things to different people. Obviously, if I have a smiley face and I paint it blue, a lot of people think, what emotion is that trying to illustrate? If I have a blue smiley face. Sadness, that's right. But for Miss Swingross, I'm just gonna paint another circle blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors because it reminds me of a blue sky and the blue ocean. It makes me feel very calm. So it, blue does not make me sad at all. Does blue make you sad? Another one of my favorite cool colors is green. And I love that green comes in so many different shades. I'm going to keep dipping back in this water, see if I add water, see how I can pull that color over. So it's going to add 
or it's gonna make my green be a darker green, green and then it's gonna lighten some areas too. Now, if you find that you've got too much water on your paper, all you need to do is go get a paper towel. See, I'm just adding water. I'm not even going back to that paint. Just go get a paper towel and you're just gonna blot. Blot means you just dip the paper towel straight on top of there. And it'll pull up some of that water. It'll pull up a little bit of your pigment, but it'll pull up some of that water. So see, even within that same circle, I maybe went back to that paint twice. I'm gonna do another little green. Your goal would be for two, two of the same colors not to touch, if you can. Sometimes that gets tricky. And if you need, if there's a spot where two colors have to touch, you can look at it and decide if you want two colors to touch or if you just need to leave that space white and that would be okay. Ooh, see how I dropped the paint inside that water? Now it's spreading. It's pretty cool, huh? All right, I'm gonna keep working on this with my cool colors. Remember, pencil, marker, paint. Pencil first, marker on top of the pencil, and then we're gonna paint. When you are finished, we're gonna put them on the drying rack to dry. And then you are gonna wash your paint brushes and clear your water and clean up any mess at your spot, okay? Can't wait to see them. <laughs>